I received this comment about cladding and siding. It's a really interesting example of being creative with different tools to create exactly what you need. By the end of this video, you will learn one of the simplest ways to create siding for exterior walls. Let's see how it can be done. First, we are going to model the profile. So for this, we need to go to File and Create a New Family in Profile category. Siding can have different materials such as wood, cement, or stone. And according to these materials, they can have different forms and shapes, as you can see in here. We are going to model this wooden siding. I'm going to cut this part and then I'm going to drag it into Revit and use it as a reference. Well, the scale of this image is a little too much for the size of the profile that I want to create. So I'm going to first go to create and then in here I will use this reference plane and I'm going to create a line in this part. I think 15 centimeter or 20 centimeter could be enough for the height of this siding. So I'm going to set this part on, let's go with 18 centimeter. Now I'm going to select this image and I will move it exactly from this point to this part. And then I'm going to use a scale to make it smaller. Select the image, click on this scale, and then first click on this point and then in here and then just simply move that point to this part and now the scale is going to be correct then i'm going to go to create again and i will use this line for creating my profile since we are in a profile family the only option we have in here is this line i'm going to start from this point and then exactly create it on these lines like this now for this point i'm going to go to create and i will use this start end radius and then i'm going to simply create one in this part like this now we don't need this image anymore and i'm going to just move it to this part for now now we can delete this one and simply save and then load it into the project now in here if you want to use that profile on one of these walls maybe one of these exterior walls or any other walls that you need you just need to select the wall and go to edit type in here we are going to go to structure and then click on this preview now the next step is to switch from this floor plan to section so we can see the wall from the section view and also if you pay attention to this part you can see that all of these options are grayed out so if you want to active them you need to go to the section view like this now for creating sidings we are going to use this sweep in here first you need to add a sweep like this and as you can see we have a new row in this part we have the profile which we are going to use the profile that we just created this one and then in this part we are going to choose a material for that so i'm going to click on here you can either create a new material or use one of the materials that we already have in here i'm going to just simply select the wooden material maybe this one and then i'm going to change this color to something like this and okay now the next part is the distance so this distance means the distance from the base of the wall if you change this from to top this distance will be the distance from the top part of wall so i'm going to switch to the base and then i'm going to leave this distance on zero because we want the siding to be on this part if you want to have another siding for the base of your well you can add another profile to here and then leave this distance on zero but i'm not going to do something like that so we're going to continue with this the orientation is about the slanted walls so if you want to rotate your wall or you want to have like a special type of sidings on your wall on your slanted wall you can set this on perpendicular to face or parallel to ground then we have the siding you can choose between the exterior and interior i'm going to select exterior and 
With this offset, you can set the distance between the siding, the profile, and the wall. For example, you can use this if you want to have like a gap between the wall and siding for adding another profile to attach the siding to the wall maybe you might need this one with this option you can fill up the profile if you need and also you can insert the siding insert the profile into the wall with this one we don't need to do this for this type of profile this siding but sometimes you might need to use this and then you can cut the wall and make the profile cuttable with these two options and okay let's see how it will look for now this is the profile that we created and if i click on finish we can see it on all of these walls okay this is the siding however this is only one row you can see that in here since we have this door in this part it is cut and also it will be cut in front of all of these windows and any opening that we have in here now i'm going to go to the wall setting again and in here i'm going to add as much sweep as i need so i'm going to click on here and then add another one again for the profile i will use this one for the material i'm going to use the same material for the distance, since the height of the siding was on 18 cm, I'm going to set this on 70 cm because I want it to be exactly on top of this one. So I'm going to set the distance on 17 and all of these will stay the same. And okay, you can see that they are exactly on top of each other. We have this overlapping warning, so I think I'm going to add one millimeter to here so we don't face any problem later. And I think it's okay. Perfect. And the next one is in here too. And exactly like this, I'm going to add the rest of the sidings. Okay, Windows cut the sidings like this, but in here, I don't really like the form of this part if you have uh, a window like this you probably need to use another method for creating these sidings but for now since this is just a practice i'm going to switch this with one of these windows okay this is much better now exactly like this you can continue adding the sidings until you reach the roof or you can leave it like this it depends on your design i think i like it this way and i'm not going to add more rows to here also if you want to have like rotated profiles you can go to the profile section and in here you can either rotate this one exactly from this point or this point or just simply load it into another profile another profile family and then rotate the whole family these are two ways that you can have rotated angles of course there are a lot of different ways but this is the simplest one and you can use it for your project you can create the siding exactly like your references and then use them in your projects if you want to take your design into the next level and create coins for the corner of your walls for the exterior side you can watch this video in here if this was helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.